welcome back to another day of June Jubilee. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, I had so much fun doing Makeup Mayhem that I decided to create my own little tag for June, and it's called June Jubilee, and it's just kind of fun things, and reviews, and basically everything else just with June Jubilee in front of it. Tell me if you like the idea. If you don't, that's cool too. Just let me know. Anyway, as you can probably tell by today's video, video's title that this is the best and the worst of e.l.f. in my mind. Um, I definitely have more best things than worst things, but some of the worst things I don't have anymore, so I'm going to, like, have them right here, and they're just gonna, like, float, like, right here, magically, by the magic of editing, and it'll be cool, I promise. Alright, so... Let's get started. I'm going to start with the worst stuff just to kind of get it out of the way. And the first thing is, and like, the stuff that's worse isn't stuff like that I think is totally, absolutely terrible, unless I say that I think it's absolutely, totally terrible. It's just like, not my most favorite of things. And the first thing is the big stippling brush. I love the tiny one, and you'll see that in a little bit. But I really don't like the big one because I just think it's too loose. You know, like, the, the fibers aren't falling out or anything, it's just that it's too flimsy. Another thing I'm not a really big fan of is the high definition under eye setting powder, or the high definition powder for that matter. At least not for every day. For like, on the stage, the high definition powder is great, but for every day, I don't think it's that awesome. And this, I don't like it because there's glitter in it, or like little minuscule sparkles. I still use it. I just, I'm just kind of using it to try to use it up, you know, because like it's still usable and I still think it's okay, but it's not like awesome. Another thing that I really don't like is the e.l.f. HD Mattifying Cream Foundation, and it looks like this. And I just find it really difficult to apply, like, it doesn't really apply well with a sponge, it doesn't apply well with a brush, like, you kind of have to, like, take your finger and splash it all over your face and then blend it in, and I just, I really don't like doing that at all. And since we're on the subject of foundations, I really, and I'm so sorry to say this, Elf, but I really, really, really hate the foundation stick. I absolutely loathe it. It is the worst product I have ever tried from e.l.f. The worst. I got it because I was like, oh, awesome, like um, a, a foundation stick, this is going to be great. And then I tried it, and it oxidized on me within the hour. And I had powdered, I had primed, I had done everything. And it just, it looked terrible. And, like, I, I came home and I, like, I washed my face because I was like, I'm not going out like this. No. Not happening. So... This is what it looks like. I do not like it. So, next thing on the list is the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder. Now, again, I don't completely hate this, but I don't love it either. And the reasoning behind that is because I don't really see it, like, correcting the tone on my face. Like you know, if my skin is really blotchy or something, I don't see it helping that. But it is pretty good at, as a setting powder. So, it's a good powder. It's just not good at what it supposedly says it does. Another thing that I don't really like, and I again, I don't have it with me, is their eyebrow kit. And I don't like this because it just... It's not... I don't know how to put this, like, it just, it didn't work for me. The powder was too light, and it didn't show up, but the gel was too dark and made me look like I had, like, Elvira eyebrows. Hmm. You know, so, like, if they could come up with, like, a non-tinted version of the gel and maybe pigment their powders a bit better, I think that would be really, really awesome. Like, really awesome. And the last thing that I'm not 
that I really do not like by them is their glitter lip gloss. I don't remember the exact name of it, but this is what it looks like. And I just, it was chunky, the brush was stiff, it had a really strong fruity smell to it, and it just, like personally for me, it made my allergies go completely bonkers, and just, I did not like it at all. But, now we're on to stuff that I do like, but they're not my favorite. And there are three things in this category. The first thing is the eyelash curler. It's good. I use it to travel. Alright then. The e.l.f. Essential Lipsticks. They're kind of creamy, but they're a bit, they do drag a little bit on the lips when you put them on. And they've got a really strong smell, but not as strong as the lip gloss did. So these are pretty nice. And I will be doing a blog post if I haven't already done it. Um, and I will link that down below in the description box. And now, on to the fabulous stuff. Which, there's a lot. So we're just going to get going with this. The Poreless P Face Primer. Love this stuff. Absolutely amazing. I don't notice too much porelessness going on, but the priming of it is absolutely amazing. The e.l.f. Acne Finding Foundation is a great full coverage foundation for $6. Absolutely amazing. It makes my skin feel so nice. It makes it look really nice. It doesn't oxidize on me. It looks fantastic, and I love it. Um, the e.l.f. Studio Lipsticks. I have four of them. They are amazing. Again, I'm doing a blog post on these. So, I will link that down below. They are creamy. They are, they're just, they're, they're fantastic. I love them. Uh, the e.l.f. Cream Eyeliners. I have it in Tenacious Teal and Black. And I absolutely love these. They do not smudge. They do not smear. They just stay once they're dry. And they're, they're fantastic. I will be repurchasing these again and again and again. Like, again and again and again. This is something brand new to me that I just got because I wanted a new highlighter. Because, you know me, I love my highlighters. I have a very, very, very subtle highlighter on today that I'm not too pleased with. Um, but it's in Gotta Glow, and it's always sold out on the website when I go to look, and I can never find it in the store, but I found it the other day. It looks like this. And it is just the most beautiful, yellowish, white, iridescent highlight I've ever had from the drugstore. Just beautiful. Um, the thing that I've told everyone that they absolutely need to have, and that is the makeup eraser pen, you just, you need to have one. That's, that's it. That, that's all I have to say about it. This is the best thing in the world. Um, a huge surprise, and I did a blog post about this as well, and I will also link that down below, and that is the e.l.f. Mascara Primer. This stuff, I was so pleasantly surprised by this. It makes your lashes look longer, thicker. They make them just look absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I just, try this. Like, don't, don't be worried that it's only a few bucks. This is almost as good as my Dior lash primer. I mean, this stuff is amazing. And it was, again, only a few bucks. Compared to $28.50? Oh, yes. Um, I use glitter a lot. And so the e.l.f. glitter primer, it kind of looks a bit grody because it does get sticky, um, is amazing. It makes it stick and the glitter does not go anywhere. This stuff is really great to have, especially if you do theatrical makeup, or you're like me and you go to, like, you like to use makeup, or you go to parties and you like to use glitter there. Like, this stuff is fantastic and it's three or six dollars. Absolutely amazing. 
the Elf Mineral Loose Eyeshadows. My mom gave me these. I don't know if you can get them anymore, or at least in the colors that I have. I have them in the color Earthy and in the color Trendy. I haven't really used Earthy that much, but it's really pretty. But I've used Trendy quite a bit, and it is absolutely amazing. It is such a pretty color, and I'm so glad my mom didn't want it. So glad she didn't want it. It's so pretty. It is so, so pretty. And then for brushes, I'm kind of just jumping around here. I've got the two Kabuki brushes. The Ultimate Kabuki brush, which I find is really good for bronzer. And then the regular Kabuki face brush, which I use for powder. Fantastic. Absolutely amazing. And then I said I would come back to the little stipple brush, and I am. I love the little tiny stippling brush. I think it's absolutely amazing, and it just... It, it's great. And I have, only have one eyeshadow brush by them. It's their C brush, and it's fantastic. It's, ooh, ignore the fact that I have to wash these. It's, they're great. They're fantastic, and it's great for packing on powder on the lids. Absolutely amazing. And now my favorite brush by them, by far, is their brand new e.l.f. contouring brush. It looks like this. Um, I compare it to the NARS Eda brush. Now, I don't own the Eda brush. Um, I'm not shelling out that kind of money for a brush. If I'm going to shell out money for a brush, it's going to be for a brush set and not for a sole brush. And this, I've heard people who have the Eda brush actually compare it to this and say that this is a really good dupe and it just gets right there right under the cheekbone and just gets the perfect nice line for contour and is wonderful now the um, all over color sticks I have it in persimmon and spotlight persimmon is a pink kind of sparkly one and I really like that because I like my highlighters to sparkle but Spotlight is a bit different for me, where it's just a white cream highlighter. And it's still good, though. I really enjoy it. And it's really nice for the days when, like, I can't really have, like, super sparkly cheeks, or I'm trying to be a bit more professional, but I still want that highlight there. This is really good for that. And then I love the Studio Blushes. They're absolutely amazing, really beautiful, really soft, really great. And then this is great for traveling, their Contouring and Blush set. I have it in St. Lucia, which is compared to the NARS Orgasm and Laguna combo. And it's a beautiful, beautiful blush and a really highly pigmented um, bronzer. And it's absolutely amazing, and it's great to travel in. It's in the hard plastic case, so it's protected. And speaking of plastic cases and blushes, their blush palette looks absolutely amazing. This is in light, and my favorite color is actually this color right here because it's got a little bit of sparkle. The rest of the colors are matte, and I actually use this as a bronzer and it's just amazing. And finally, the best product I think e.l.f. has created, and I just saw they have new palettes, so you know it's a palette that I'm going to be talking about, is their Prism palette. I have it in Sunset and Naked, and these are the butteriest, most amazing drugstore palettes I have ever used. I mean, look at these colors beautiful. The only one I don't have is smoked, just because I don't think I would ever use that color, but I mean, look, look at these two. Aren't they just amazing? And this is them swatched right there on the side of my arm, right there, those two. I mean, they're absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to get my hands on the new palettes that they just came out with. There's like a blue one, blue and purple one, a neutral one, a matte one, and a smoky one. 
and I definitely, definitely want the blue and pur blue purple one and the smoke, uh, not the smoky, and the neutral one. I can do without the matte because I'm not a very matte person, but oh my gosh, absolutely amazing! The, those are the be all and end all of my Elf collection, like hands down. So if you have to pick one thing from Elf out of this whole video that I've shown you, get one of the Prism palettes. Get the naked, get the sunset, get the smoked, whatever goes with, you know, how you usually do your makeup. You know, pick one of those because they are phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal and so beautiful and so pigmented. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I'll be seeing you soon. Bye, guys.